Hi, welcome back. Part two. Here is our mask again. Uh, well, it looks very nice. But you might say, well, Andy, is this a very tight fit? Uh, does it stick together? It does, but if you're a bit rude, you could really tear it apart. So uh, there are some tricks. Here is my uh, hot air gun and I will show you what the trick is. This is very strange with the camera strapped uh, to my head, so I, will, I hope you can see this. I just heat up this little part. Oh. <laughs> do is I really really pinch it roll it up a little bit like so okay hope you can see it <laughs> go to the other side do it again It's a little bit hot. <laughs> See? I fold it, pinch it, and then roll it. This side is uh, better than uh, the other side. <laughs> Next thing, this is not uh, a see-through thing, it's not transparent, so uh, you want something to make sure that uh, the mask is on the patient uh, in the right way. So what we do, we make holes. We use something like this. I think it's called a soldering iron <laughs> uh, and we just melt some holes. On the bony part of the face, so on the forehead, on the chin, it's very strange. I'm trying to point the camera. <laughs> so, uh, and on the nose, like so. Okay. This one back. So, push it out so there won't be any sharp edges inside. Yeah. So now, when you put the mask on the patient, you can verify if the, the mask's, uh, mask fits on the skin. Yeah? So you have to see something like this, and like this, okay? I hope that's clear. Uh, well, and another thing I'd like to do, but you don't have to, but is <laughs> well, not right. <laughs> That's it. 
See, it's not only function, it also, uh, well, it has to look sexy. Huh? Okay, bye-bye.